Ileife is popularly referred to as the cradle of the Yoruba race. Some even believe that it is the source of mankind. It is this belief that is held in high esteem by the Ife royal palace based on antecedents and historical facts of the past heroes and Oni of Ife. Two of the descendants of Odudua who recorded landmark achievements in the development of the Yoruba race and by extension humanity were recently celebrated by Oni Adeyeye Ogunwusi. They are Obalufon Ogbubudirin and his son Obalufon Alayimore, the fourth and fifth Oni respectively. And they came to this world thousands of years before Christ, before Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ogbubudiri ruled for many centuries, way before Christ. Because we've seen facts through carbon dating thousands of years before Christ. And they ruled and they became living deity. Available historical account shows that Obalu from Ogbubudiri was created in a special way by God and lived and reigned for an unusually long period of time. The Ogbubudiri lived for 2200 years. That's 2200 years. It's unimaginable. He lived so long that it turned into iron. Obalu from Ogbubudiri was said to have reigned for several centuries and refused to die, but rather transformed to a metal figurine, hence the appellation Ogbubudiri was said to have become a deity and also believed to hold the spiritual classified codes for on his long reign. This statute is to remind visitors to the palace of that great Oni whose son Obalufan Alayimore also reigned and helped in founding many Yoruba towns. Set up a very powerful kingdom, a part of Lagos, the most populous black nation and a black city in the world. Set up the Remos, all the Remos, they are all the lineage of Ijebu, Ikorodu, a portion of Ijebu, they, they all know the relevance of Obalufo. All the way to Idu Oshu, all the way to F1 Alai. Obalufo Alai More is credited with the creation of the new city plan for Ileife, with construction of several temples and building of city walls. Bronze casting and all forms of alloy and metal crafts, glass beads and other jewels gained prominence during his reign. Alayi More is also credited with the invention of brass casting and regarded as the deity of Yoruba brass casting arts. To let the world know the truth that we had a structure before colonization came to the entire black race. Obalufo played a very pivotal role. And it's been proven all over the world that the oldest artifacts and bronze work in the world is from Yoruba dynasty. Thanks to our ancestors, Obalufo. Obalufo came up with that initiative of bronze and terracotta artwork. The first in the world. Older, way older than the Roman Empire, way older than the Greek Empire and the first renaissance in the world. The Alayi More of Iduoshun, Oba Adiremi Adidakpo, is one of the descendants of Oba Lufan Alayi More. He's happy to have links with Ileife. I was a British Museum with the predecessor of our Nirisha 2010. That civilization, life started, the life started somewhere in Africa. That place is called Ileife. That's where human civilization started. That's why we say it's the epicenter of the whole civilization. Since the duo of Obalufan Ogbubudirin and Obalufan Alayimore are believed to be spiritually alive, can their descendants ascend the throne of the Orni? Well, I learned we have been banned because you too, well, you, been. our father did not die. He transformed to stone. So you cannot have two Obas in a the, in the house living because so we must I believe that uh, Yoruba says Baba Koku Ikauje. So our father did not die. He transformed to stone. And when even today, even today, when you want to see him, 
or you talk to him, you talk to him like you're talking to a normal person. And whatever request you make from him, you will, you will get your answer. Obalufa Festival is celebrated annually in Ife in appreciation of the contributions of Obalufa to humanity. Ibrahim Alige, TVC News, Ile Ife, Ocean State.